By default, negative margins are disabled in Bootstrap. But by changing a single SAS variable, you'll then have access to negative versions of all of the normal margins. So where you have MT-1, the negative version is MT-N1. Now be aware, for you to be able to enable negative margins, you need to have SAS compilation set up. So either through a build process or using a plugin in your code editor. For this tutorial, I'm using a boilerplate. I've done a video separately if you want to follow along or if you want to use that boilerplate. It's a parcel and bootstrap HTML boilerplate. I'll put links in the description and a link on the screen right now. So let's create two div elements so we can make sure that negative margins are enabled. First one, I'll give container BG danger MY5 and PY5. So the container class will give it a fixed width and center it. BG danger is going to give it a red background. MY5 will give it margin top and bottom of five and PY5 will give it padding top and bottom of five. Then I want to go inside of that and create another div element. And I'm going to give this a fixed width. I'll give it the same padding of five and I'll give it a background of blue. All right, if I save that and have a look on the front end, there's our two div elements. So now let's say we want to raise the inside element up. We'd use MT N5, we'd save that. We'd go into Bootstrap. You could do a search for negative margins or you can come into Utilities Spacing and you'll find it right there. And all we have to do is copy this into our variables override file. So for me, for this boilerplate, that's inside of SRC assets, SCSS and underscore variables. So there's my line right there. I'll enable that and save my changes. And now we have negative margins on the front end. And to confirm that, let's have a look at our inspector. And sure enough, MT-N5 margin top of minus three rem. And that's it, you now have negative margins enabled. And what's good about the way Bootstrap have set this up is they simply run an each on all of the spaces. Now, the spaces is what Bootstrap uses to create your margins and your padding. So M0 through to M5. So if you were to increase those spaces and give yourself more options, so 0 to 10, you'd have those same negative margins enabled.